Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2941, where we have 10 moves only to clear out 60 jelly. I'm pretty sure we used to have more than that on this level, but this is the world we live in now. It's a hard level, I can tell by the purple stripes and the skull. So, I've got licorice on the board and I've got isolation. What are my advantages? Well, I've only got three colors. There are only three colors that are showing up right now, so that's good. It doesn't look like I'll get any more licorice to show up in the board. There are no dispensers, although sometimes they just kind of forget to draw in some of the graphics. So we'll have to see about that. And then I've got portals, so I have to figure out how the portals work. So there's no portal here, so this looks like it's basically the top of the board. And there's no portal here, so this looks like the bottom of the board. Okay, and then I've only got one stream here, so this connects to here, and then these three probably connect to here, and these three connect to here. So this is how it works. If I make a move here, it'll affect what happens here, and then here, and then here. So this is the bottom, penultimate to the bottom, almost to the top, the top. But here's the thing, if I make a move here and clear things out, it's just going to bring licorice in, and this is the hardest place to deal with things. I think what I want to do is use the largest area to try to make some specials to affect what happens over here. And notice that it's having a nice effect on this side too. But I want to keep looking over here because maybe something will change. I have the opportunity to make a color bomb now, which is reasonable because I only have three colors. Hopefully it'll take out something over here. I won't get to decide. But it's also going to clear out a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So that took out orange. And now look, we're filling in here, and that is not going to be pleasant. Um, I should be able to make more color bombs, don't you think? Ooh, a wrapped, wrapped candy combo along this edge here would be great for this area. Wow, this is a bit of a tangle. I'm actually just going to see what happens with this cascading. I could make a wrapped candy here. I would do it if it were over on this side so it could try to fall here, but I only have six moves left. So I've got to be a bit more careful about what I do. Although, how do you be careful on a board where it's just a tangle? All right, so I make a stripe. I set it off. That puts the green together so I can actually make a move directly in here. It brings that licorice in, but I'm getting some of that licorice removed. I'm not going to be able to get this done the first try. It takes a while to develop a strategy, that strategy, then to check the strategy, and also to have the right board to allow the strategy to work. So if you just want to see me beat this, I would advance to the last minute or two of the video. Otherwise, join me on this odyssey of seeing how best to deal with this particular board. After I get more lives, I'll pause the recording and meet you back here. Okay, so I've got some fun things here. I really like this. I'm going to go for this first, even though, well, it exploded and I didn't get to use it. I'm not going to try that again because I need to really create some opportunities here. But also, look at this. Now, it's just bringing these through, but I now have a bit of ingredients in here instead of it all being licorice. Hmm. I was trying to see if I could get the orange set up as a color bomb, but that didn't seem to be working out. I could make a wrapped here. I think I'd be better off going for this stripe. Unfortunately, wasn't able to make a stripe wrapped combo to take out a width of three. Yeah, without a really wonderful boost in the beginning, it's just going to be hard to make any progress here. Going to go for another stripe. Going to take this out. Just a bit too much to have to do in one turn. I didn't even get this cleared out, so yeah, we'll just keep trying. Ugh. 
but I really need to look for setting up those special combos. I'm going to ignore this side again, which I know I should do. That just confirmed it for me. Yuck, look at all of the... I mean, I'm not totally ignoring. I am paying attention a bit, but it's going to clear itself out. And if I try to set things up, it just, it often will not work. There's just too much that can go wrong with this. I will go for this stripe. Okay, hold on. And another stripe. So now I get to do a stripe wrapped combo plus set off a stripe. This still isn't clear. I get a color bomb and another color bomb. Oh, just not enough. Gosh, I wish I had however many turns we used to have. I'm sure it was more than this. But I was able to clear out a substantial amount in here. Now this part was awful. At one point it's going to all come together. Uh, I like that move better. Okay, so here we go. I might get a combo here. Things did not explode. I could risk it and try to do a whole bunch of things here. Uh, that's too much of a risk. So there we go. We got some good stripes in through here. And look at this. We're clearing this out. We're going to have a good chance of clearing some of this out now. Although the conveyor belt's going to offset those orange. If I do this, we pull more things in through here. I'm not ready to do that yet, although I may end up accidentally doing things as, as things explode. I'd like to clear out that orange first. I'm taking such a conservative mode, uh, move there, but look at that. I cleared out all of that stuff, and now if I do this... That's the kind of move I need. But I'm still going to have these pockets that are so tough to get to without being able to use a combo. I got a lot done without a spectacular combo, but... I mean, I need a couple of them. I need them throughout the game. Oh, look at this. Four jelly left. One, two, three, four, all highly accessible if I had more turns. <sighs> this is the place that's going to make the most chaos. So this is the move that I have to take and just hope that we get enough chaos to happen throughout. Look at this. This is going to be the last one if we can get this to explode, right? <gasps> we got it. All right. So that's how I beat this level. A uh, little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. A lot of luck and a little bit of skill. This is one where in order to get it done in 10 moves, you need a preponderance of luck to be able to help you out. And that's what I got. Uh, so persistence pays off. That I think that was my 16th playthrough for recording purposes. It may have been as many as my 18th. I uh, lost a little bit of track there. Anyway, that's how I do it. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That, in turn, would help me out. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.